After only just relocating from Melbourne to Queensland and spending two weeks in quarantine, I was off again on a mini holiday. Welcome to Magnetic Island. This picturesque landscape is located in tropical North Queensland and only eight kilometers from Townsville. I was so lucky to have the chance to fly up, jump on a ferry and spend some nights here with my friend Carl. Magnetic Island is situated in our World Heritage listed Great Barrier Reef Marine Park and with over 20 bays and beaches, it doesn't get better than this. From meeting the local birds and creepy crawlies to waking up to watching the sunset and working out, I knew this was going to be the perfect holiday escape. I spent most of my days eating, swimming and exploring on foot. You can hire these convertible cars, better known as topless jeeps, and zip around the island in no time. Definitely Instagram worthy. I'm so going to be getting tan lines, brown lines. The sunsets were incredible and the wildlife was so friendly. I've never been so up and close like this before and you couldn't help but feel so connected to nature. My friend Carl bought a bus as a project to convert into a home on wheels and had been getting her ready for some adventuring. This thing was old, but she was well oiled and ready to go. Magnetic Island has so many beautiful hikes and spots to see the sunset. Why you do this to me? You need it more than I do. My legs are bigger than yours. <laughs> we were definitely on Struggle Street. With the heat and the incline, it wasn't easy, but at the end, the reward was so worth it. That sunset view was absolutely beautiful. Plus we knew we were gonna get some ice cream and some pizza for dinner afterwards. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Next, it was time to take the bus on our road trip. I can't exactly remember if we named the bus, but I'm gonna call it Bluey anyway. The bus goes on to a ferry or a barge. I think humans take the ferry and the cars go on a barge over to the mainland, which I was just for some reason so excited about this. Just couldn't really kind of wrap my head around cars going on a boat and traveling over water. It was pretty cool. Should do a tour whilst we're on here. A tour of the one room bus, the studio. Studio bus. We've got bed one, bed two, bed one, bed two. Fridge that doesn't work, it's a bit stinky. Microwave. The sink. Bench space and the stove top. And down the front. <laughs> when we made it to land, we headed to the shops to load up on food. Something I do best. I definitely bought way too much, but food is life. Carl was shocked at how amazing my singing was. A little bit more! Just a little bit! couldn't help but sing, it totally makes you happy, so you've got to do it. We made our way up north to Mission Beach. I had never been here before, so I was excited to check out the town and the beach that I had heard so much about. It was so hot out here, like I've never experienced this kind of heat before. I was doing my best to take it all in, the scenery that is, not the air, but that too, and enjoy this uh, adventure that we have set out on. Road trips are my absolute favorite. I am my happiest driving the unknown roads with the wind in my hair and music playing loud, singing at the top of my lungs. It is honestly therapeutic. If you don't agree, I challenge you to give it a try sometime. 
we were heading out into our first location for the night. Wish I knew where it was exactly, but I can't remember. It was just remote, no reception, near a river, and there was a storm heading our way. Eerie, yet kind of exciting. Plus, we were keen for the rain to cool us down. Oh my God, hi guys. We set up camp and swam with the fishies before making dinner. Oh my God. Another day means more food, more adventuring from banana trees to bluey bus tunes and boogies. Our second night was spent in a car park down near a waterfall with Mexican for dinner and a whole lot of rain. Rain, I thought was gonna cool us down, but instead it created a very humid, hot atmosphere inside the bus and it was very hard to sleep. But waking up early in the morning to such a magical place just felt really special. <whistles> Crystal Creek is where we were and the waterfall was gorgeous. It's not often you find pretty waterfalls like this and get to have them all to yourself. Mind you, it did piss down with rain, but this didn't stop me. In fact, I was very, very happy. Leftovers for lunch as we made our way back to Maggie Island. Stopping to hang with the locals before dropping Bluey off at the mechanics for some work. Back to Maggie now, and I don't know how I didn't mention this sooner. I was obsessed with chocolate bananas on a stick. These are by Feel Good Bananas, and boy, do they make me feel good. They are by far the best. Towards the end of my stay, I got to experience something I'm not sure many of us city slickers can say they have. Toad racing. <laughs> yep, like frogs, but toads. Everyone up here in Queensland seems to hate them, and I know they're a pest and dangerous, especially for your dogs, but I seem to have a soft spot for them. Well, the toad races have been going. Let me give you a little bit of history. The toad races have been going through color. Yeah. That's a boy. Feel that. Oh, there, yeah. my finger, here, oh, and here. There's yeah. a bone there. Go, put your fingers there. Yeah. Feel, feel oh, yeah. the bone? Yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. And now it won't escape. Okay, okay, so you have all the photographers <laughs> against the light. Now, who else can we look? Hey, good to come smile at the That's all you. Oh my gosh, love it. What's he doing? The old man. Before I knew it, my time on Maggie Island was up. And as much as I loved the island life, I was ready to go and start my new life in Queensland. Thanks for watching and if you liked my video and would like to see more from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button below.